Hello everybody, it's Jeanette Vilga. So I got a couple of little projects to show you and they're just little folios and they start off like this. Um, got this off of Amazon, I think I got like, it was either 10, I think it was like 10 maybe for $5, less than five. So, but 10 of these little guys. And it comes like this with a little string and a little button so that you can wrap and it's just a simple folio. What I did was just use some pliers very carefully. You just kind of keep going around the circle, pulling the pliers towards the middle and then I'll pop it right out and both of those I did that. Um, obviously you don't have to do that. I just didn't want to use this. I wanted to use a ribbon on mine. so. It's one way to do that. You can pop those right out and you don't have to worry about them. Otherwise, it makes a nice little closure as well. So simple, really cheap, and with some beautiful papers, you have a really nice project. So I'm gonna start with this one. This one uses papers by PM Studio. The paper collection is called Cloudy Seaside. And let's see, so this is just a piece of um, sari ribbon and behind, I've used one of the papers from the collection to hide and tuck the ribbon behind it. And then if I undo the ribbon, you can see it's just on both sides there. And on the cover, used one of the pockets from the kit and then some of the offcuts and leftover papers to make a little tag to go in the front so you can say who the journal belongs to or if you're giving it as a gift, this is the gift to such and such. Moving inside, there's a lot of really cool ephemera in this kit, one of which is this gorgeous little dolphin. I think it's a, maybe a brooch. You can see the little rhinestones in them, really cute. And then also in the kit were these, um, on the page, it showed these little rivets and you can see this pa um, paper in be behind it. And what I did was just, um, printed it out twice so that I had the background and the piece and then the piece again and cut the one out of the one, put it on some cardstock and glued the two sides. So now I have a tuck for these two pieces of ephemera, again from the kit. So one little card there and up here is another one. So it makes cute little tucks on these little flaps. Going inside, just these are all pages um, from the kit. I printed them one-sided, and so we have the gorgeous paper on the one side, and on the other, I did some stenciling. So I hope that's coming out. I did it real light. I want to, you know, be able to write over the stenciling so it's not in the way. Let's see. Here we have one of the pockets from the kit, and then I took just a craft piece of paper, glued the shell onto it, and then fussy cut around him so that he's nice and stable on the card, but from the front it looks like a little tab on it. And again, some stenciling. And here we have a couple of pieces of the ephemera. I did add from my stash some quote stickers so make this moment count. And then again, this is from one of the papers, so offcuts. I don't like to waste things, so I use all of my offcuts to make little ephemera pieces, so a little journal card. And gorgeous paper. On the papers where I knew you could easily write, so you can easily write over this if you want to use this as a journal that could be written over. So on those pages, I left them as is. And on those that maybe had a little more where you might want to put a picture on this if I wanted to add a pocket or anything, those are the pages that I did that. So on this page, for instance, took one of the pockets, put it sideways, and then one of the offcuts, or yeah, I'm pretty sure it's offcut. And then I love this string ribbon. I don't even know what you call it. it just To me, it looks like blue seaweed. So I always love to use that stuff. And these 
cute little turtles were on one of the pages and I had to cut them out and make them like they're crawling up the page. Just adorable. And here we've got, this is just a, um, I think this was, actually this might be one of the papers from the ephemera kit. I, I love to use all my scraps, so I never remember if it was actually part of the ephemera kit as a strip or if I created a strip out of off cuts, but this is definitely from the ephemera kit. Everything in here is only from their paper collection, except for the little word quotes. I added those for my stash. And again, just a little tag. Really gorgeous papers. And in the middle part, we have another offcut made into a tag. It's one of the really big pockets, like from the front. A little summer piece, and then a couple of just decorations. Yeah, I didn't make that a tuck. It's just a nice little decoration. And you can see this is stitched into the folio. So if you look, I just went right through the folio. There's plenty of room there. Some cute uses. I mean, the, the Femmer kit has a whole bunch of um, sand dollars, uh, starfish, and these really cute little shells. And this is actually from, uh, I believe this one. So this card, I just cut the middle out to make a cute little decoration for this pocket. Another little tag from an off cut. Oh, that guy, no, stretch it out. There we go. And like I said, cute little shells. And oh, and the, um, what do you call that thing? Yep, don't remember. Nautilus? Is that a Nautilus? Really pretty paper. And again, this is the same card from the top piece that I used here and just added this cute little um, fish. They all look like brooches. My guess is that's what they were, brooches. Just really cute usage of boop. And then again, same thing. Makes it look like a tab, but by doing it this way, you get, you know, added stability that it won't, you know, come off. Another pocket of another tag. And let's see, oops, one more page. And then again, a couple pieces from the ephemera. I just love this, it's uh, an umbrella. So cute. Cloudy seaside, so you need an umbrella on a cloudy day at the seaside. And then last usage of the bits of off cuts for making the cover decorate a little photo mat. So that is this one. Really super simple. And you can fold it this way, you can fold it that way. I actually fold it that way so it holds things in a little bit better. And my sari ribbon needs to be trimmed. I need to do that. All right, so that's that one. This one, if um, you've watched me, you know that I'm planning to move and the people that um, own the house that we're moving into, their mo funny thing is they're moving here to Bavaria and we're moving there to Berlin. Well, it's um, outskirts of Berlin. Uh, Wunderhausen? Yeah, probably saying that completely wrong. <laughs> but, uh, so anyways, I made this one for them. We've they're really, really wonderful people, and we've um, gotten to know them pretty well, and they've been really great about um, everything. How, you know, since these are trying times at the moment, it has been difficult um, them getting into their place, us getting there. So, anyways, I wanted to have a little something for them. These papers are from Fabrica de Kuru, so everything in this is Fabrica de Kuru. Um, the collection is Sentimental Story, in case you want to look that up. And it does have matching journal cards. So that's one of the matching journal cards. Now this piece actually came to me in a happy mail. And I don't, I'm totally lost on <laughs> which one it was. So thank you very much. I love it. And it went perfectly with this. 
So this is the, uh, this, oh, and this little uh, label, which I think is Style 24 Designs, um, are the only two things that aren't, aren't for Riga de Kuro. So all of the little flowers, all the papers are all for Riga de Kuro. Open this up, another sari ribbon. This time I used two pieces of sari ribbon and I just layered them on top of each other. And again, um, layered them underneath the papers to give it stability. Woo! I love this paper. It's, you know, at first you go, that's really loud, but it, it's just so gorgeous and they go together so nicely. And like I said, all of these are from the collection. So when you get their papers, their uh, front sheet, you know, that always says, this is who we are, this is the name. On the back, they always put um, cutouts. So you, you know, have to fussy cut, but many of these, like all of these here, this is all from that sheet. So they're really nice and go really in it. Um, since it's made of the same cardstock as the paper, it has nice stability to it. So just put some flowers on the tabs here, nothing on the other side of them. And I kind of went with this one because it had a sort of a home feel, and I know they, they're big tea drinkers, so I thought it all went really nicely with for them and for the situation. So again, this is um, there's sticker sheets also that you can get with it. And so we, I made this pocket with some craft, um, craft stock, craft, I can speak, craft card stock. One of the journal cards has a for you, and I just backed it with some of the craft card stock because one side is often in English, and this is a Ukrainian uh, company, so the other side is in Ukrainian. And so just put that on some craft card stock. And then the other papers in here is just some, it's like a really light gray paper from my card, from my stash. So, and then decorated those pages with some of the stickers. And used the same, the leftover paper from the cover just to make a little pocket and one of the stickers. And then another craft tag. And again, the off cuts from making the cover on the tag. And then again, this one is actually, so I think, no, this is actually, for, again, from the same cutout. So you have to fussy cut that out. So, oops, if I get this in frame. And then a couple of the stickers and one of the journal or journal cards. This one is actually um, the same on both sides. So you have the window on both sides. So to make it more of a journal card, I just backed it on the card stock. Oh, the stickers are just gorgeous. And on this paper, the they have a white background and the white just kind of disappears into the paper. And then here, these are actually, so this one and, no, I keep trying to say these are die cuts. I, there are some die cuts. The, you, the kit does come with certain die cuts, but um, I didn't use quite as many of those in here. Most of um, what is here is from that cutout page. Those are actually from the cutout page. And then a strip from the, making this and then just another strip. I always like to use all of my leftovers. Put that in that way. It makes a cute little tuck. And some more stickers. Sorry about the lighting. Not the best of days. And also in the journal card set, it comes with a number of little tags as well. And so, and this tag is the same on both sides. Sometimes they're different. Sometimes it has a picture and then the tag on the back. So it's always different. And again, this is from the cutout sheet and is as is this. So I did quite a bit of fussy cutting for this one. <laughs> one of the stickers. Another sticker and another of the fussy cut it out, fussy cut it out. And final one from when I was doing the fussy cutting. And then this page is just gorgeous. That's from one of the page papers. So that is that one. Really simple, but makes a very pretty book.
in this one. I like to put that on the inside. Oh, and this, so I think this is the only one that's actually from the die cuts. Everything else is ones that I put. That actually is one of the die cuts. So, so anyways, so I'll just leave that. There are two very simple folios. Now this one actually, I mean, took maybe an hour. And this one was, yeah, about the same, maybe a little, little bit more, um, mostly because, um, with this one, I had the um, pieces already cut and was just using scraps, whereas this one I was starting from the paper. So that was it, just a little bit more cutting involved, but that was only because of where I was starting from, not necessarily from everything is there for you to make this gorgeous book. And like I said, from simple beginnings, you make a really gorgeous present. So these are both presents for people in our lives that are helping us with our move and <laughs> own the house that we're taking over. Thank you very much. Anyways, so give this a try. It's You can get the, a whole bunch of these different types of folios. Um, you don't have to get them on Amazon. You can get them on eBay, on um, your favorite craft site. But they're really great ways to just start a project. I think that's one of the things I find the hardest is just starting. And so when you've got a nice base, it's easy to go from there. And like I said, you can, both of these are stitched right into the folio. So easy way to make a quick present or just a notebook for maybe carrying around your coupons, that kind of thing, notes. So anyways, please like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this and hope you have a great day. Bye.